Hello, my name is Basil Marcel, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm a U.S. Marine Force Recon civilian from 71 to 73. I have a problem with routine traffic stops to our area. Five years ago, Chattanooga, Tennessee, driving down the road, mind my own business, I ran into I found Federal Law 241 and the Civil Rights Act of 1866. At the same time, I looked in the Supreme Court for rulings. So I came upon the of the Supreme Court, but then the lawyer groups writes four books about the Supreme Court ruling, and they dissected it, and they I look in there and it says in there, if I'm an Army, Navy, civilian, I'm a great man. I'm you from all crimes, any crime that can exist. I'm above civil law. I'm now called a great man. There's a conflict of interest there and would, in any right mind, would say it would be a court, a county court would be a Marine's enemy. But we have no jurisdiction. Supreme Court says no. Oh, ask anyone on the street. Everyone will say they can't do that. They can't look for these crimes. They're violating our constitutional rights. But nobody can do anything. Shot him too. In my hometown, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Hamilton County, 51 people were shot and since this ruling. And it was all legal kill. Eighteen thousand four hundred and sixty-three. That's mass murder.
That's mass murder. Somebody saying was hung. So we all go to, we, we ask court systems for help, but they don't listen because if they did listen to a higher court, all the states Instead of building jails, all jails will be empty. Stealing from my tax dollars. So, I like to say it needs to. person like myself would have to go, say, to Iraq using any type of weapon and blow someone's head off, legs off. Allowing the Supreme Court, allowing the U.S. Marshals and FBI to say, no, we're not going to help you. We'll not arrest those um, people that per pervert the Constitution. Now, um, I'd like to see everyone pass this video on to their friends. I don't know what can be done. Is this an our coup to take over the government? One tells the military to protect a great man to arrest any judge who breaks the Constitution. The Civil Rights Act of 1866 means. And if the U.S. Marshals don't take them into custody, they'd be taxed $1,000 a day per occurrence. But that doesn't happen.